Reverend Insanity. Chapter 416. Enduring the Earthly Calamity 12. Several months later. In Who Immortal Blessed Land, the Fox groups gathered into an army and surrounded Dang Han Mountain tightly. Fang Yuan stood with his arms behind his back at the peak of the mountain and looked at the sky with a solemn expression. Time passed mercilessly, today was the day of the sixth earthly calamity. Even though Fang Yuan was a Gu immortal in his previous life, he still felt uneasy facing an earthly calamity. Every earthly calamity increases in intensity compared to the previous one, it was a cruel trial that decided the life and death of the Gu immortals and their blessed land. Fang Yuan took over the blessed land when there was only a year and three months left. This time was truly short, he could only prepare with his best efforts. Digging a river and alleviating the water and fire crisis was one, nurturing foxes and increasing their numbers was two. Holding on to fixed immortal travel goo and being prepared to retreat was the third preparation. As for the clouds in the sky, as well as the blue charm lightning shadow at the west area, he had no way of dealing with them. The mild wind gradually stopped. High up in the sky, clouds were rumbling and a lump of light was forming. It's coming. Fang Yuan's pupils shrunk as he muttered. In the cloud sea, the lump light burst out forming a great white round door, facing the blessed land directly. The light was glaring and dazzling, as a brown-yellow-colored large monster descended from the light door like a large rock. Looking at this scene, is this the desolate beast calamity? Fang Yuan squinted and stared without blinking. The giant rock continued to descend silently. Fang Yuan could not help but lick his dry lips as his heart sank. There were countless types of earthly calamities, among them were the desolate beast calamity. In the blessed land, one or multiple desolate beasts will appear, charging towards the blessed land's central control area, wreaking havoc and causing destruction to the blessed land. If they were not exterminated in time, even a large blessed land would be destroyed and reduced to ashes. Damn it, it is a desolate beast, I just hope there is no immortal goo on this desolate beast. Fang Yuan cursed in his heart. If desolate beasts had immortal goo on them, their battle strength would surpass goo immortals. This mysterious desolate beast landed on the ground in a light manner contrary to its giant size. Looking from afar, it looked like a slightly flat giant rock. But Fang Yuan could tell from the images that this large rock was only a brown-yellow exoskeleton glowing with a golden luster. There were thick layers of mud on the shell armor. Just as Fang Yuan was guessing what sort of creature it was, a large pair of chelipped, like two bronze poles, stretched out from the shell. Next, nine pairs of chelipts stretched out from two sides, landing on the ground, raising the heavy body off the ground. Swamp Crab, seeing this, Fang Yuan spoke immediately, recognizing the true identity of this desolate beast. This was a large crab, with a body that was the size of a mountain. When its body was lifted, the height could reach a quarter of Dang Han Mountain. Its first pair of chelipes was more fearsome than steel poles, a pair of pincers that could break mountain rocks or cut a flood dragon in half. Its remaining 18 chelipes, although thinner than the first pair, they were still thicker than hundred-year-old trees. There were large numbers of goo worms on its body, most would be water and earth path goo worms. Rarely, it could even contain an entire set of goo worms. Thankfully, who immortal blessed land has ample immortal essence, Fang Yuan gritted his teeth, feeling glad in his heart. Earlier, when the swamp crab appeared, the land spirit already struck, using the heavenly power to restrict its goo worms. All rank 1 to 5 goo worms could not display their abilities. The most important point was, this desolate beast had no immortal goo. If it did, then the question would be what immortal goo that was. Immortal goo were unique, surpassing the laws of the mortal realm. Blessed lands could not restrict them. The existence of an immortal goo was the most important element in this battle. The swamp crab fully stretched its limbs and started slowly moving towards Dang Hun Mountain. Fang Yuan willed and moved his troops quickly. Large numbers of foxes all over the mountain rushed like the tides towards the desolate beast. In moments, they encircled the swamp crab. 
Their claws and teeth scratched the swamp crab's legs and the physically tougher golden foxes directly crashed into it. But the swamp crab was huge like a mountain and continued moving forward. The ordinary fox groups could not stop it, instead they were stomped into meat paste. Fang Yuan's expression was cruel as he directed the foxes to continue giving up their lives. He bred so many of them, they were meant to be used as disposable pieces. Damage accumulates, any amount of damage they could deal counted. But the swamp crab gave off an unstoppable momentum as it advanced without halting a single step. Like a moving mountain, it did not care about the foxes below. All sorts of attacks landed on the swamp crab's body like a beautiful display of fireworks. These were the attacks of the hundred, thousand, and myriad beast kings of the foxes. They had all sorts of goo worms. Under the strength of all the goo, the mud on swamp crab's body was all blown away. This giant crab, for the first time, stopped its movement. It opened its mouth and spewed out large amounts of mud. At the same time, from its stomach, yellow mud spewed out like a waterfall. The mud landed on the grass and formed a swamp. From the mud, weird-looking crabs stood up. Some had large sizes, ferocious like a tiger. Some had sharp, thin needle-like pincers. Some had claw-like legs, having quick speed. In the blink of an eye, a crab army that numbered to a million formed. It is the swamp crab indeed, it can breed at any time and place, creating numerous smaller crabs and forming an army. Fang Yuan's expression turned darker. The fox groups were fighting against the crab army, engaging in fierce combat. The number of foxes continued to decrease. The crab army's deaths were much greater than the fox group, but the desolate beast continued to give birth, and there was an endless number of crabs. Fang Yuan quickly instructed the fox groups hiding outside the mountain to return. Thankfully, I expended my estrus goo and bred a large number of foxes, otherwise my total force would not be enough. In just this short period, Fang Yuan felt dizzy. He directed an insanely large number of foxes, and even though his soul was six times as strong as a normal person, it could not take this pressure. With the crab army paving the way, the swamp crab continued moving forward, regaining its former speed. The legs on its body moved one after another like fingers playing on a piano with a rhythmic beauty. But an intense battle was going on below it. Blood flowed into river, corpses piled into a hill, and every piece of land was tainted with blood. The swamp crab did not differentiate enemies from allies. Every time its legs landed on the ground, there would be a fountain of blood squirting all over the place. When the crab raised its leg, there would be foxes' crushed bodies and broken crab carcasses in the deep pit on the ground. This desolate beast's body was so large and honestly speaking, it did not move quickly. But because of this, it was able to create an immense mental pressure. Seeing it moving unhindered, Fang Yuan felt that a grim reaper's scythe was hanging over his neck. Damn it, Fang Yuan gritted his teeth. This desolate beast before him was the king of the swamp. Its body was covered in hard shell, it had lurked deep within the swamp for many years, even its eyes had vanished due to de-evolution, it had no weaknesses left. Fang Yuan manipulated the fox groups to hold it back, but it was no use. He could only watch helplessly as the swamp crab got closer. Can you teleport it away? Fang Yuan turned his head, asking the little Hu immortal land spirit. Different Gu immortals gave birth to different blessed lands, and the land spirit's abilities also varied. Some land spirits could teleport others, like Ba Gui from Three Kings' blessed land, while some could not. Some land spirits could summon rain and wind, and some could manipulate the flow of time freely. Let me try. Little Hu Immortal breathed roughly as she felt an intense mental pressure. She activated the Immortal Essence and used all her strength until her cute tiny face turned red. Ah ah, she shouted in a childish way. With a swoosh, the giant swamp crab vanished on the spot and was teleported about 9,000 steps away. We succeeded. Little Hu Immortal's face was red as she gasped. Fang Yuan relaxed slightly. Ma, Master, I just expended one bead of green grape immortal essence. 
Little Hu Immortal reported painfully. No matter. Fang Yuan's expression was cold as he continued to order the foxes to attack the swamp crab. After five minutes, the swamp crab got close again. Land Spirit teleported it away once again. And thus, another green grape immortal essence was expended. Little Hu Immortal felt immense pity at this waste, and Fang Yuan's heart was bleeding. In the entire Hu Immortal Blessed Land, there were only 78 beads of green grape immortal essence. Fang Yuan used one to feed fixed immortal travel goo. Now he used another two to teleport this swamp crab. He still had to use the immortal essence to refine goo and manage the entire blessed land in the future. There were many areas in which immortal essence were needed, but because Hu Immortal died already, these green grape immortal essence could not be replenished, every single bead used was one less left for the future. Some crabs got through unguarded areas and charged up the mountain. Fang Yuan snorted coldly at this and ordered the land spirit to unleash the might of Dan Hun Mountain. At once, the area the crab army walked on became a death domain. Numerous crabs died, lying on the ground with their bodies intact. Their souls, however, were completely destroyed, creating a peculiar scene. Unfortunately, Dang Hun Mountain's power is to continuously pressure the soul, but the desolate beast's soul is strong and can last for a while. I cannot let it reach Dang Hun Mountain and destroy this precious forbidden ground. Fang Yuan did not participate in battle. Even if he used his strength path goo worms, he would not be able to break its shell. Most importantly, the Swamp Crab had not used an immortal goo yet, Fang Yuan was uncertain if it had one or not. The unknown was the greatest threat, Fang Yuan did not dare to strike rashly. Soon, the Swamp Crab came again. Just as it was teleported away for the third time, Little Hu Immortal's expression changed. Not waiting for Fang Yuan's reaction, she stretched her hand to grab his arm, and they both vanished on the spot. The next moment, a fierce lightning bolt landed on the area they were standing. Boom! With a thunderous sound, mountain rocks shattered. The lightning paused for a moment before shooting back up. It turned into a human-shaped lightning and emitted a loud growl. This was the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow, Chapter 417, Enduring the Earth Calamity 22. Blue Charm Lightning Shadow held its head and screamed in pain, the blue lightning flashed around without any target and only settled down after a long while. Clearly, the lightning figure had suffered injuries in its soul when it entered Dang Hun Mountain. Inside Dang Hun Palace, Fang Yuan's face became ashen as he looked at the scene in the smoke. If it was not for the land spirit's prompt teleportation just before, he might have been dead already. Little Hu Immortal patted her chest, her face pale and showing lingering fear. When it rains, it pours. The Blue Charm Lightning Shadow joining the battle no doubt made things worse. Blue Charm Lightning Shadow flew into a rage after its sneak attack did not succeed and started to collide continuously into Dang Hun Mountain. Every time it collided with Dang Hun Mountain, there would be tremors in Dang Hun Palace. Soil and stones flew from the impact and large scorched pits were created from the attacks on the mountain. Fang Yuan felt his heart bleed at this scene. This was Dang Hun Mountain. In this entire world, there was only one of it. Fortunately, Blue Charm Lightning Shadow stopped its attacks after dozens of collisions. Its soul had received considerable damage and the lightning around it was becoming very disorderly. It did not dare to attack again. During this time, the land spirit had teleported the swamp crab another two times. In total, they had wasted five beads of green grape immortal essence on it, and the originally endless fox army was already at the brink of extinction. What made Little Who Immortal even more discouraged was that this desolate beast only had small wounds and was still moving forward stably like before. It was like an indestructible bone. Whether it was Blue Charm Lightning Shadow or Swamp Crab, they both had one target, destroying the central area, expending the immortal essence and killing the land spirit. Their final target was to destroy the whole blessed land. They were on the same faction and did not have any conflicts, instead they cooperated. 
While Fang Yuan and the land spirit were having a headache due to this swamp crab, the blue charm lightning shadow gave up on Dang Hun Mountain and changed its target to the blessed land itself. It did not dare to collide against Dang Hun Mountain anymore, so it began attacking the sky and the earth of this blessed land. It destroyed everything it saw and created craters everywhere. Sky crumbled and showed scars like that of a broken mirror. Fang Yuan felt deep helplessness. Not good, master, there is a hole in the blessed land. Little Hu Immortal spoke hurriedly. Blue charm lightning shadows attacks shattered the world and created a hole. Cut away the surrounding area around the hole. Fang Yuan spoke indifferently, his tone cold as ice. What? Little Hu Immortal opened her eyes wide and gave a cry of surprise. If they cut off the area like this, they would not be able to restore it. The holes in blessed lands could be repaired with immortal essence. If the holes were not patched in time and were allowed to enlarge, they would form a passage to the outside world. Once there was a passage, those goo immortals outside the blessed land would absolutely charge in and make all kinds of schemes. At that time, the situation would be even more out of hand. There were demonic path goo immortals on Tian Tai Mountain. Righteous path goo immortals did not dare to attack because they had a lot of businesses and assets. However, demonic path has no lack of demented people, they were lone forces and liked to take risks. In any case, Fang Yuan had done this a lot in his previous life. Under Fang Yuan's order, Little Hu Immortal repeatedly cut off nearby half a square kilometer of the blessed land. Blue Charm Lightning Shadow continually destroyed the world and created holes, while the land spirit continually cut them off. The Swamp Crab charged towards Dang Hun Mountain again and again. The land spirit had no choice but to teleport it time after time. The amount of green grape primeval essence consumed already reached 13 beads. Sob sob, the blessed land has become smaller and so much immortal essence has been lost. Tears started falling out of little who immortal's eyes as she sobbed. Don't cry, Fang Yuan coldly shouted, his expression ashen. There is no point in delaying. Our only hope is to kill these two calamities, but I don't have an attack type immortal goo and it would be difficult to see any results from attacking the Swamp Crab with rank 5 goo in a short time. My only option now is to gamble. Fang Yuan gritted his teeth and revealed a crazed determination. Desolate beasts were very strong, just by relying on their majestic physique and their fierce recovery ability, they could ignore most rank 5 goo. Especially this Swamp Crab. It had a strong defense and was upper tier even among the desolate beasts. Fang Yuan had a lot of rank 5 goo, turn gold goo, soft bones goo, pitch black goo and so on, but using them against swamp crab would be like throwing pebbles in the lake. They could only create slight ripples. They needed to attack continuously for a slight bit of results. However, Fang Yuan was unable to activate these goo and participate in the offense. If he left the mountain, he could meet with blue charm lightning shadows attacks. He could give the goo worms to the land spirit to use, but he did not dare to take the risk. Land spirits could also die, and if it was destroyed by blue charm lightning shadow, then Fang Yuan would have no means to even activate fixed immortal travel goo. Only immortal goo could change the situation. Fang Yuan might have two immortal goo, but both did not have offensive abilities. Don't teleport it anymore, let this damned swamp crab attack Dang Hun Mountain. Fang Yuan said resolutely and commanded the land spirit, release the whole might of Dang Hun Mountain. Ringi, Dang Hun Mountain had been restricted by little who immortal the whole time, and right now, as it was finally let loose, dense fog started rising over the whole mountain. An enormous and formless soul-shaking power burst out of the mountain, spreading as far as 3,000 steps and eradicating everything in its surroundings. Only Dang Hun Palace under the land spirit's control was intact. The giant swamp crab soon got close to Dang Hun Mountain. Under the power of Dang Hun Mountain, its sturdy shell was unable to provide any defensive support. Its soul received fierce attacks, causing its movements to slow down. 
However, this made it go berserk, and it increased its speed by another fold, charging towards Dang Hun Mountain. Bam! The enormous pincers heavily smashed on Dang Hun Mountain like steel clamps. The sturdy boulders were as fragile as flour as they were smashed by the attack, holes forming from the impact. The huge crater was at least 0.6 acres wide. Smoke and dust flew all around and the entire Dang Hun Palace also shook from the tremors. The land spirit little who immortal's face paled from shock. Dang Hun Palace kept on shaking, dust started falling from the roof and there were fierce cracks on the walls and pillars. Suddenly, little who immortal let out a tragic shout. Not good. That blue charm lightning shadow has already moved towards the north and is openly destroying the sky and earth, creating many holes. The image in front of Fang Yuan changed and showed the scene of blue charm lightning shadow attacking the world and creating holes. The blessed lands eastern and northern parts had been corroded by the remnant force of the earth calamities and were weaker than other areas. The blue charm lightning shadow saw these weak points and started attacking them. Fortunately, we had settled the water and fire, otherwise the result of blue charm lightning shadow's destruction would be ten times more severe. Master, what should we do? Little Who Immortal was feeling at a loss. The situation had turned to an extremely terrible state. The swamp crab was like a steel hammer directly pounding the heart and continuously depleting immortal essence while also wrecking Dang Hun Mountain. And Blue Charm Lightning Shadow was like an extremely sinister poison. It purposely searched for the weak points of the blessed land and stabbed at them. Every hole it created was like a fresh wound to the blessed land. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with an ominous glint. The situation was turning more critical, but it instead aroused his fighting spirit. Land spirit, every time you teleport the swamp crab, send it away by 3,000 steps. Yes. With the distance shortened, the immortal essence expenditure was also comparatively less, and Dang Hun Mountain's soul-shaking power worked within 3,000 steps, creating injuries to the swamp crab's soul. Land spirit cut off the whole northern area, Fang Yuan gave another command. What? Little Who Immortal was stupefied and almost did not dare to believe her ears. Who Immortal blessed land's northern area was over 600 km too, and Fang Yuan wanted to give up the whole region. Once they cut off the area, Who Immortal blessed land would lose this territory forever. This was definitely a huge sacrifice by Fang Yuan. Who immortal blessed land had altogether 4,000 km2 of land, and he was cutting off one-sixth of it. Master this, this, little who immortal hesitated. Do as I say. Fang Yuan's gaze was fixed on the image in front of him as he shouted in a stern voice. Little who immortal's pink lips puckered and her eyes were filled with tears. The tears fell down and she started crying loudly. Land spirits were the representatives of the blessed land, Cutting off a part of the blessed land was the same as cutting their own flesh, and abandoning the whole northern area was like a person cutting off one of their legs. Master, don't, don't do it. Little Hu Immortal cried loudly and begged. However, Fang Yuan's expression was ruthless and did not make the slightest compromise. Master's orders could not be violated. Little Hu Immortal could only endure the pain and cut off the whole northern area. That blue charm lightning shadow was currently in the center of the northern area, destroying the world and creating holes. It suddenly felt something wrong and immediately moved, trying to charge out of the northern area. However, because of 5 km of distance, it could not escape and was trapped in the northern area. It let out a mournful and sharp screech, its tone full of indignance. However, that bit of distance determined its fate, the blue charm lightning shadow could only follow the evaporation of the northern area and land in the outside world. Success, Fang Yuan almost shouted in joy at this scene. If it were normal times where the blue charm lightning shadow had no injuries in its soul, it could absolutely react in time. If not for its crazed attacks towards the world, expending its energy and causing its speed to fall, it could absolutely escape. At the critical moment, Fang Yuan endured the pain and made a minor sacrifice to protect his bigger interests, finally settling this calamity. 
as to what calamities it would create at the outside world that was not part of Fang Yuan's consideration. Bam, bam, bam. The whole dang Hun mountain was still shaking, the desolate beast swamp crab soul was very strong and forcefully withstood the pressure, continuously attacking dang Hun mountain. The nearer it got to dang Hun mountain, the stronger the soul shaking power became. Little Hu Immortal teleported the swamp crab away time and again. Right now, it was a battle of foundation between the two sides. If the desolate beast's soul foundation was strong and it overthrew Dang Han Mountain, it would be Fang Yuan's defeat. Conversely, if Dang Han Mountain did not fall, it would be the earthly calamity's defeat. Bam bam. Dang Han Palace's pillars crumbled and the beams of the roofs snapped. Dust and dirt flew everywhere, accompanied by little Hu Immortal's whimpering cries. Fang Yuan was silently standing with a cold expression. Strength, I need more strength. He clenched his fists and let out an indignant scream in his mind. Why was it that despite growing so much, he was still so weak when facing heaven and earth, when facing fate? Then continue to grow, continue to become stronger, stronger, and even stronger. As he screamed silently, the swamp crab's movements were gradually slowing down and eventually it collapsed at the waist of Dang Han Mountain, dead. After an arduous process, the sixth earthly calamity was finally over. Chapter 418 Losses and Gains Fang Yuan walked out of Dang Hun Palace. The pink crystal mountain had holes everywhere. Broken rocks were scattered on the ground showing a pitiful sight. Fresh red blood, yellow murky mud, fox and crab corpses mixed together. The desolate beast swamp crab's humongous body was pressing on Dang Hun Mountain's mountain waste. It was like a small mountain, extremely eye-catching. The mild wind blew on Fang Yuan's black hair as his eerie black eyes stared at the battlefield. The pungent smell of blood entered Fang Yuan's nostrils. Closely behind him, little Hu Immortal Land Spirit's eyes were red as there were tears on her face. She reported while sniffing. Master, we suffered immense losses. We lost about 666 km2 of land, and we only have 68 beads of the immortal essence left. Our fox army of 4,700,000 has fallen to 310,000. As for goo worms, we lost around 700,000 of them. Who immortal managed her blessed land for so many years, after this calamity, the entire blessed land lost about 40 years of development. But Fang Yuan did not think so. His expression was tired, but his gaze could not hide the happiness in his heart. He survived this earthly calamity. It was an obstacle. Now that he survived it, Fang Yuan had time to recuperate. He had ample time to deal with the seventh earthly calamity. Stop crying, the blessed land is safe, that means our hope is safe too. Dang Han Mountain did not collapse, thus we have the resources to start over. Although we lost some land in the short run, we cannot make use of that land anyway, it will not hinder our development. Fang Yuan patted the land spirit's head, consoling. Look, not long later, Dang Han Mountain will be full of gutstones, and we will control another group of rockmen. Most importantly, that blue charm lightning shadow was exiled, now we can develop without any worries. Who immortal blessed land will definitely flourish again. This battle was intense and tragic, there were countless foxes and crabs who died near Dang Hun Mountain. At the same time, Swamp Crab's soul was smashed into bits by the mountain's vibrations absorbed into Dang Hun Mountain. In the near future, not too long away, large numbers of gutstones will appear on Dang Hun Mountain unceasingly. Master's words make sense. Little Hu Immortal stopped crying and thought about it clearly, it seems he made sense. The earthly calamity was like a trial, Hu Immortal blessed land got through it, there was not only great losses but also great gains. What a pity, there were many goo worms living in this swamp crab, but now Dang Hun Mountain killed them all. Little Hu Immortal pouted, staring at this swamp crab's corpse angrily. Rejoice, this desolate beast did not have an immortal goo, otherwise we might not be standing here. Fang Yuan sighed deeply. This was the luckiest part of this ordeal. 
One crucial immortal goo with overwhelming ability can easily overturn the entire situation. Even if this swamp crab had an immortal goo and was killed by Fang Yuan, how Fang Yuan would catching this immortal goo was also a huge problem. Maybe this wild immortal goo might replace the blue charm lightning shadow and become the next great threat to Hu immortal blessed land. Fang Yuan was satisfied enough to have survived this earthly calamity. After all, he was only a rank 4 upper stage mortal goo master, yet he managed to kill a desolate beast that was a problem even for goo immortals. Land spirit, clean up the battlefield, preserve the corpse of the swamp crab well, I am going to rest. Fang Yuan looked around once more before relaxing, immediately feeling strong fatigue. He commanded over a million foxes, his soul and mind was overused, he needed sleep immediately. Okay? Little Who Immortal answered quickly as she looked at the swamp crab's shell with glowing eyes. Every desolate beast was a moving treasure. The blood, fur, bones, intestines in its body were great goo refinement material. You accursed crab, I will tear you apart. Little Who Immortal raised her chin as her mouth opened, showing her small canine teeth, angrily walking towards the swamp crab while muttering to herself. Fang Yuan had an extremely enjoyable sleep. Three days later, he woke up and laid on the bed, not wanting to move at all. This time, he really relaxed his body and mind. The sixth earthly calamity was over, Fang Yuan earned a lot of time for himself, he could finally catch a breath. Ever since his rebirth, he had been plotting and resisting, especially on Sancha Mountain. He overexerted himself thinking of the ways to get out of his predicament. Now he finally protected the blessed land. To Fang Yuan, this was a safe and stable place. If Hu immortal blessed land was destroyed, he would be in big trouble. He exposed many things, let's take for example, the fixed immortal travel goo. Fang Yuan was not a goo immortal, he could not keep this immortal goo into his aperture. Once its aura was leaked, goo immortals would easily sense it and come to snatch it from him. Now, fixed immortal travel goo was placed inside who immortal blessed land, and because there was immortal essence, he could feed it without worry. Other than that, there was also the refinement of second aperture goo. Without little who immortal to control the immortal essence, Fang Yuan could not refine this immortal goo, he had to at least reach goo immortal realm first. By then, divine travel goo might have been refined by another person already, it would be too late. Having protecting who immortal blessed land, it was a great help to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan lied down for a while before getting up to eat. After filling up his stomach, he went to sleep again. This time, he slept for ten hours, he woke up slowly as he felt all the fatigue had been washed away. His mind was clear, his head was working well, and his condition was as good as it could be. Where is the land spirit? He stomped his feet, calling. Little who immortal tore through space with a swoosh, appearing before him. Master, I have dismantled that crab, we can sell it for a good price. Little who immortal's face was red as she was extremely satisfied at breaking apart the culprit for the blessed land's predicament. Oh right master, there are three letters here, they were sent in from the loophole on the day of the calamity. Little who immortal said, taking out three goo and handed them to Fang Yuan. When loopholes enlarge enough to become tunnels, people could enter and exit. But before that, only goo worms could enter through the small gaps. These three goo were all letter path goo worms. One had a paper crane appearance, it was the rank 3 lightning symbol paper crane goo. One was a green bird, rank 5 and looking lifelike, it was the letter sending green bird goo. One looked like a sword, it was the rank 3 flying sword letter goo. Fang Yuan's gaze shone as he took out the letter sending green bird goo. The green bird transformed into a letter, it was sent by the rank 7 goo immortal Fang Jiuji. Fang Yuan was not surprised, the moment he saw this green bird goo, he had a feeling it was him. 
Fong Jiuji's tone in his letter was calm, he first expressed his admiration and praise for Fang Yuan, before stating his intention to arrange for a battle with between Fang Yuan and his daughter Fong Jin Huang. It seems that after Fong Jin Huang returned to Spirit Affinity House, she had been gloomy, moody, and dispirited. During this period, she had been cultivating diligently to reclaim her pride. The battle was initiated by her, she wants to have a fair and square fight with Fang Yuan, betting the glory of Spirit Affinity House and Immortal Crane Sect. HMPH, you want to battle, do I have to agree? Fang Yuan scoffed in disdain. His time was so tight, there was not enough time to cultivate, Fang Yuan would not waste his time and effort accepting Fang Jin Huang's challenge. Fong Jin Huang was born in a great family, she had Gu Immortals as her parents and a sect to support her. Even if she had a blessed land and the calamity came, there would be a huge group of people fighting it for her. But Fang Yuan was all alone, he had to rely on himself for everything. He had no mood to play around with this rich missy. What a stupid idea, she wants to reclaim her glory, so I must play along with her? Laughable! Fang Yuan snorted. Different from others, he did not fear Fong Jiuji. That is because soon, Fong Jiuji would be called up by the heavenly court and would successfully ascend, it will not be easy for him to come down and enter Central Continent again. But in this letter, it seems that this pair of father and daughter think that I am a disciple of Immortal Crane Sect, what is going on? Fang Yuan's eyes shone with suspicion. The other party was a Gu Immortal, they would naturally not make such a lowly mistake. That means there were hidden complications. Fang Yuan retrieved the flying sword letter Gu. Opening it and taking a look, it was another challenge letter. But in this letter, it was all swearing and scolding. Almost all of Fang Yuan's ancestors were mentioned. Even immortal crane sex honor was used to incite Fang Yuan to accept the battle. Finally, there was even a threat, if Fang Yuan did not agree, he would reveal the contents of this letter to the public, and let the world know that Fang Yuan was a coward. Fang Yuan looked carefully, lightly smiling. Oh, it is this rascal Jian Yisheng. Jian Yisheng, a metal path Gu master, his appearance and personality were very perverted. He was most skilled at sneak attacks, and hated suffering losses the most. He was one of the demonic path Gu Immortals on Tian Tai Mountain. He was truly a mean and devious coward. In Fang Yuan's previous life, he got ambushed by him many times. He eventually made Fang Yuan angry enough to summon the Blood Sea, forcing this giant Yisheng to hide in his blessed land, afraid to battle. He blocked him for twenty years until giant Yisheng realized that he had angered the wrong person. He could not take it and eventually kneeled down before Fang Yuan to surrender without a trace of a Gu Immortal's dignity. As for why this person was challenging Fang Yuan, it was because he was extremely unlucky. After Fang Yuan discarded a portion of the Blessed Land and threw the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow towards Tian Tai Mountain, Jian Yisheng coincidentally met with it. At this time, Although Jian Yisheng was a Gu Immortal, he had no Immortal Gu and was thrashed by the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. He escaped back to his blessed land pathetically and finally managed to get free of the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. After he got home, he counted his losses and was filled with rage, stomping his feet. After finding the culprit, he sent a flying sword letter Gu, challenging Fang Yuan. HMPH, he knows I am a mortal, but still challenged me as a Gu immortal. He even wrote his letter so righteously, talking about fairness. This piece of shit is still as shameless as I remember. But why did he think I am a member of Immortal Crane Sect? Fang Yuan opened the lightning symbol paper Crane Gu with great suspicion. He opened it slightly and his pupils shrunk, showing a surprised expression. What? Fang Zhang is alive? Reading on, his suspicions were cleared. So that's it, this He Feng Yang from Immortal Crane Sect is a smart person, using this method to eliminate his competitors. But he greatly underestimated me. Why would I join Immortal Crane Sect? But what the letter mentioned is exactly what I need now. Thinking so, Fang Yuan made up his mind. He called the Land Spirit. 
Go, open the blessed land slightly, and let the Gu master who resembles me in. Chapter 419 Fang Zheng's Pain Tian Tai Mountain stood high above the clouds, reaching 3,000 km in total. It was situated at the center of central continent, it was the land of inheritances, the mountain of saints. During ancient times, it was the ladder of immortals, able to ascend to the heavenly court. Immortal Crane Sex elite disciples were now standing at the foot of Tian Tai Mountain, having waited for an hour already. How much longer do we need to wait? This Fang Yuan is putting up too much airs, right? SSH Quiet. He is the brother of Gu Yu Fang Zhang, the owner of Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Speaking of that, this brother of Fang Zheng's is really amazing, he managed to defeat Feng Jin Huang, Xiao Kai Zing, Ying Sheng Jai and the others. So what? If I had a supreme elder supporting me in the dark, helping me to use fixed immortal travel goo, I would be able to win the blessed land as well. Our clan's elders are truly smart, using Fang Zheng to attract their attention, while the real trump card was Fang Yuan all along. In order to make this a reality, Immortal Crane's sect lied to all their disciples. Immortal Crane's sect disciples now knew that there was someone named Gu Yu Fang Yuan in their sect. During these three months, he had become the hottest topic that everyone was discussing. He was mysterious and low-key, it made people curious, Shocking the world in one move, he obtained who immortal blessed land for immortal crane sect and even allowed immortal crane sect to stand out among the ten sects it made the other disciples feel proud. All their discussions entered Fang Zheng's ears. Fang Zheng was stand at the front of these people, his gaze was dim as he looked at Tian Tai Mountain. These days, he had been a walking corpse, he did not know how he survived the last few days. After Fang Zheng left King Mao Mountain, he swore to exact revenge to get justice for his deceased clansmen. He carried a great hatred with him, the objective of revenge was sustaining and motivating him to cultivate. He was more hardworking than all the other disciples, he did not even slack for a second. He had fantasized many times the scene when he finds Fang Yuan defeating him and making him kneel on the ground, repenting for all that he did on King Mao Mountain. The clansmen in the afterlife would finally rest in peace after that. Thus, on Dang Hun Mountain, he did not give up despite numerous occasions of wanting to do so. Every time he thought of Fang Yuan, there would be a strong driving force in his heart, supporting him to continue climbing. He wanted to get Hu Immortal Inheritance, not only because he did not want to let his master down or disappointing the clan's expectations, it was also because his chances of getting revenge would be much greater if he had the blessed land. But he did not expect that life would come hitting him this hard and suddenly. Gu Yu Fang Yuan, his blood-related brother, the main character of his numerous nightmares, appeared on the mountain top. Under everyone's view, he obtained the inheritance, even Gu Immortals could do nothing to him. Fang Zheng who failed returned to the sect. Shock, pain, loss, fear, he knew the clan's lies, he knew the truth, but precisely so, the shadow in his heart grew by many times. This trauma had been nurturing in him since he was young. Why is brother so smart, but I am so stupid? Why was it that I cultivated so hard, yet I still lost to Fang Yuan? Why did this happen in southern border and also in central continent? Is it true that I Gu Yu Fang Zhen am destined to live in his shadow my entire life, never to surpass him? Every time Fang Zheng thought of this, there would be an indignant feeling in his heart, urging him to cultivate more. But this time it was different. It was different. Thinking of the mission the clan just passed to him, Fang Zheng's body shuddered. The blessed land was in Fang Yuan's control in order to obtain who immortal blessed land, the sect was recruiting Fang Yuan. As long as he handed over the blessed land, he would be immortal crane sect's elder. Central continent sect members were classified from low to high as outer disciple, inner disciple, elite disciple, legacy disciple. Above disciples, there were sect elder, often at rank 4 cultivation, controlling the many aspects of the sect. Above sect elder was sect leader, he had to be at least rank 5 middle stage, and was the key person in charge. 
and above the clan leader there were supreme elders. These supreme elders were all Gu immortals, they were rarely seen during normal times, secluded in cultivation. Only when the sect faces a life and death situation, or when something important happens, they would appear and let the world know the true power of Immortal Crane Sect as one of the top ten sects. Since I joined Immortal Crane Sect, I had cultivated so diligently these years from Outer Disciple, I became an Inner Disciple, and from Inner Disciple, I became an Elite Disciple. During the sect examination, I emerged as the top disciple of among the Elite Disciples. But now, Fang Yuan just has to say a word and he would become a sect elder. Any disciple who sees him have to bow and pay respects. Fang Zheng felt a great pain in his heart every time he thought about this. If Fang Yuan really became an elder, he would have to bow and pay respects to this enemy every time he saw him. Was there fun in such a life? Was there meaning in living? Master, has all the effort and hard work I put in been in vain? At this point, Fang Zheng was standing at Tian Tai Mountain foot, waiting to meet Fang Yuan. He had unavoidably fallen into deep self-doubt. Lord Sky Crane quickly consoled him. Fang Zheng, you have to adjust your mindset. Immortal Crane sect sacrificed a lot for who immortal inheritance, we even used an immortal goo. For the sect, we have to look at this from the big picture and put down our personal grudges temporarily. Fang Zheng, you have to understand, it was Immortal Crane Sect who nurtured you. Now that the sect needs you make some sacrifices, you cannot forget your roots. Although he said that, Lord Sky Crane was sighing in his heart. He understood Fang Zheng's personality, thus his heart was even more worried. All along, the notion of revenge was driving Fang Zheng forward like a pillar, it was also his obsession in this cultivation journey. But now, the sect's orders were for Fang Zheng to let down this obsession, this was more fatal than any injury. Most likely, after suffering such an impact, Fang Zheng would no longer have any drive left, he would let himself dwell in self-pity. But what can we do? That is a blessed land, and it even contains a forbidden ground like Dang Hun Mountain. The gustones on the mountain can be used by our disciples and make our entire sect's strength surge. Other than that, Fang Yuan has blood skull goo and fixed immortal travel goo on him. These things are way too valuable, they are so important, how can an elite disciple compare to them at all? Lord Sky Crane felt sad in his heart, but he still said to Fang Zheng, My good disciple, you have to control your desire for revenge. A little impatience spoils great plans, treat this as a trial of your endurance. After seeing your brother, do not attack. Within the blessed land, you are not his match. Saying so, Lord Sky Crane recalled what he Feng Yang instructed him. I know the enmity between Fang Yuan and Fang Zheng. If needed, we can sacrifice Fang Zheng, you can negotiate in place of Fang Zheng. He Feng Yang's pressure was great at the moment, all the supreme elders were looking at his actions. Master, you are telling me to treat this as a trial? I, I will try. Fang Zheng loosened his clenched fist, then clenched it again, he was struggling in his heart, he felt pain and anger. If someone swore to get revenge and cultivated to succession, only to find that his enemy had died, that is pain. If someone swore to get revenge and cultivated to succession, but found that he could not beat his enemy, and that his enemy was still living well, that is much greater pain. If someone swore to get revenge and cultivated to succession, but found out that not only was he unable to beat his enemy, he even had to use a fake friendly attitude to negotiate with him, hoping the enemy would become his superior. This was the greatest pain of all pain. He he, Fang Zheng don't think much of it. Fang Yuan might not be having a good time, there is a calamity in the blessed land. You cannot imagine the might of a calamity. Even if your brother had an immortal goo, he is still immortal. Soon, he will experience the terrifying powers of an earthly calamity. By then, the blessed land will be full of loopholes, and he would have suffered a huge loss. You have a high chance of succeeding in this trip. Lord Sky Crane consoled him again. Fang Zheng heard this, and his mood became slightly more relaxed. The earthly calamity is beginning. 
He Fong Yang muttered, he had been staying behind the scenes firstly, it was to protect these elite disciples secondly, it was to prevent the ill intentions of other Gu masters, and thirdly, if Fang Yuan could not block this earthly calamity, he would have to help out. At this moment, he was starting at the spot where Hu Immortal Blessed Land was hiding in on Tian Tai Mountain, sensing that there was an aura of destruction. Soon, his lips curled into a smile as there was a peculiar sight on Tian Tai Mountain. Pieces after pieces of grassland appeared on Tian Tai Mountain. They were like clouds or fog, illusory and not real. How could there be a grassland on a mountain? This was the loophole of the blessed land, and a large loophole at that, allowing outsiders to see the scene inside the blessed land. Such a loophole could only fit goo worms, there was still some way to go before goo masters can go in. Lord Sky Crane at the other side had already called out, the loophole appeared, send the lightning symbol paper crane goo in. Fang Zheng gritted his teeth under everyone's supervision, he injected primeval essence and activated the goo worm. Lightning symbol paper crane goo was fast as lightning, flying into the loophole. But right after, the grassland image turned into a lump of primeval essence as it dissipated in the air. Lightning symbol paper crane Gu flew for two rounds before flying back to Fang Zheng's hands. This Fang Yuan is giving up a portion of the blessed land, completely removing it. It seems he is worried that Gu masters might entire when the loophole turns into a tunnel. He Fang Yang was slightly shocked, but sneered soon after. Go ahead, let's see how much land you can discard. Every piece of land you abandon is akin to giving up your own flesh. But immediately after, He Feng Yang's expression changed. He's still continuing. He's already thrown a few square kilometers worth of land. He is really bold. No wonder he managed to snatch the inheritance. But a few moments later, He Feng Yang's expression turned ugly. It seems that this earthly calamity is very dangerous this time. But how much land is he going to give up? He has already thrown tens of square kilometers of land away. This Wastrel. Chapter 420, Meeting of Brothers. On Tian Tai Mountain, loopholes appeared one after another with increasing frequency. Not only were immortal crane sex elite disciples watching carefully, many Gu immortals were also keeping watch behind the scenes. During this period, Fang Zheng tried three times, finally managing to send the lightning symbol paper crane Gu into the blessed land. A green bird spread its wings and flew into the loopholes as well, reaching the Hu Immortal Blessed Land. This is a letter sending green bird Gu. What is Feng Jiu Ji trying to do? He Feng Yang saw this and his expression turned dark. But at the next moment, his pupils shrunk to pin size, his mouth opened wide as he shocked an extremely flabbergasted expression. My God, he's discarding such a big area of the Blessed Land. He Feng Yang was tongue-tied, he was stunned like a statue. Fang Yuan discarded 600 km2 worth of land, Tian Tai Mountain Waste was full of the blessed land's projected image, grassland filled everyone's vision. Ogu Immortal was the first to react, appearing with the flash of a sword. Ha ha ha, what a big piece of blessed land, it is mine, don't even think of snatching it from me. Jian Yisheng shouted, wanting to pull this piece of land into his blessed land, expanding his territory. But at this moment, a lightning flash appeared. FCK, Jian Yisheng was caught unguarded, he shouted profanities as the blue charm lightning shadow sent him flying like a cannonball. But Jian Yisheng was not to be trifled with, he immediately engaged in battle with blue charm lightning shadow. They created a huge commotion. The earth rumbled as immortal crane sex elite disciples watched in shock. The more shocking thing was, over a dozen people appeared next, taking a piece of this 600 km to land at lightning speed like a pack of hungry wolves. You got em bastards. I lured the monster away, I made the most effort, but you guys didn't even leave me a piece of the land. I FCK all your ancestors. I curse you all to have constipation, all your children will be born with a chicken's tail. Jian Yisheng shouted angrily, he had never suffered such a great loss in his life, 
getting thrashed by the blue charm lightning shadow so pathetically. And there is that little rascal Fang Yuan, he is really evil and daring, scheming against me like this, fight me fairly if you have guts. He sent out the flying sword letter Gu. Flying sword letter Gu was extremely fast, it could tear through space, even without a loophole, it could enter the blessed land. Immortal Crane sex gang was in a daze. This was this the mannerism of a Gu immortal? This giant Yisheng is a complete disgrace to us Gu immortals. He Feng Yang covered his face in shame. At this time, a bright white gold light appeared. There was a red door in the light 30 meters tall. It had a rainbow-colored plaque. Pink-colored clouds gathered as the rainbow light shone on Fang Zheng's body. In the blink of an eye, Fang Zheng vanished on the spot. Sending Blue Charm Lightning Shadow or the Desolate Beast Swamp Crab out of the Blessed Land was beyond Little Hu Immortal's abilities. But to transport one Fang Zheng, it was easy. He got in, seeing this, he Feng Yang's heart eased. A flash of lightning bolt descended from the sky, it was the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. But the white gold light moved the red door away in time. By a hair's breadth, the blue charm lightning shadow's intention of entering the blessed land was thwarted. Fang Zheng felt his surroundings turn blur before he regained his sight, and the environment around him had changed completely. He was standing on a grassland, grass was all around him. There were clouds above him, extremely thick and dark clouds. Not far away, there are several lakes with ripples on the surface. I reached Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Fang Zheng quickly reacted. All his goo worms were sealed now, it was the same as during the competition. A smoky lump of shadow appeared before him, expanding into the size of a mirror. Fang Yuan's figure appeared in the mirror, he was sitting with his back leaning on the chair. He was crossing his right leg over his left leg as his left hand was placed on his knee, while his right hand was holding his chin softly on top of the chair handle. His black hair was casually hanging over his face as his eyes squinted, showing a lazy and casual demeanor, but also gave people a sense of danger, dark and mysterious. My cute little brother, to think I would see you again in Central Continent. Fang Yuan spoke. His voice was so foreign, yet so familiar to Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng's body shuddered, his eyes burst forth with intense rage as he growled. Gu Yu Fang Yuan, you crazy and hopeless demon, you murdered your entire clan, I will kill you personally. Saying so, he rushed towards Fang Yuan. But this Fang Yuan was only a projection from the smoke. After Fang Zhang charged towards it, it dissipated, but quickly gathered back into a perfect image of Fang Yuan again. Fang Zhang pointed at Fang Yuan, shouting, Fang Yuan, you don't even have the courage to face me. You coward. Shameless traitor, you are an inhuman animal. So what if you died to think that you murdered your entire clan just to preserve your life? Such an outrageous act, how could you do it? Are you still human? Hehe. <laughs> Fang Yuan laughed heartily, casually leaning on his chair. My cute little brother, you are still stupid as ever. Regardless of whether I did anything, they were going to die. If that is so, why can't I live? If not for my counterattack, do you think you would be brought back to Central Continent? In fact, I saved your life. I am your benefactor. Dog shit, you are distorting the truth, you are unbelievably shameless. Fang Zheng heard Fang Yuan's words and was extremely angered by it. Fang Yuan's laughter came to a stop, he sighed. Fang Zheng, my brother, you are a huge disappointment. All these years, you have not improved one bit. No matter how high your cultivation is, you are just a pawn piece. All right, let's talk business. I've seen Immortal Crane's sex letter, don't bother mentioning those ridiculous promises like making me an elder. We can, however, go through with the transaction and deals. Fang Zheng's chest was moving up and down, his breathing was heavy as he stared at Fang Yuan's image with hatred. This pair of twins, they looked almost identical, and had closest blood relation in them. Unfortunately, they were life and death enemies. Fang Zheng took a few deep breaths, holding in his killing intent towards Fang Yuan, thinking of the clan's instructions. 
within who immortal blessed land, our sect is not interested in the fox groups or goo worms. But the gut stones on Dang Hun Mountain have some value. We will send disciples here by batches, you will bring them to Dang Hun Mountain. Stop. Before Fang Zheng finished speaking, he was interrupted by Fang Yuan. I do not believe your immortal crane sex sincerity. This is what I want, prepare it for me as soon as possible and hand it over to me. I do not have primeval stones, but I have the swamp crab's corpse to trade instead. The details are in the letter, go back and consider it. Once he finished speaking, a small lightning bolt flew and landed in Fang Zheng's hand. It was that lightning symbol paper crane goo. This lightning symbol paper crane goo had already been refined by Fang Yuan and was now used by him. The contents included the goo worms and materials Fang Yuan wanted, as well as details on the swamp crab's blood, meat, bones, and shell etc. Fang Zheng raised his head and wanted to speak, but he saw the scene before him change he had been transported out already. Check around, are there any suspicious things? After Fang Zheng left, Fang Yuan did not relax, but instead gave instructions to land spirit. The blessed land could not restrict immortal goo. Fang Yuan did not meet with Fang Zheng personally because he was worried about him bringing an immortal goo. Immortal Crane Sect had a lot of resources, they had quite a lot of immortal goo. Although Fang Zheng's aperture was not able to carry immortal goo, as the aura would easily leak, all sorts of things could happen in the goo world, there were definitely methods to conceal an immortal goo's aura. Fang Yuan had to guard against this. The land spirit checked for a few times, and there were no problems at this point, Fang Yuan finally relaxed. After the earthly calamity, will the situation improve from here? Fang Yuan squinted his eyes, considering his current predicament. The current situation was way more advantageous for him than he expected. In order to devour who immortal blessed land alone, immortal crane sect shield him. Such guts, it was expected of one of the ten great sects of Central Continent. Benefits above everything enemies and friends were all built on this basis. Using common words, it was the foresight of a big picture restricted by the sect system, and under the pressure of the big picture, so what if Fang Zheng hated him? He still had to come over and discuss the transactions. Once they realized that they could not capture me so easily, that being forceful would just destroy everything, immortal crane sect would naturally come to negotiate with me to make transactions. Even if outsiders find out, there would be no rumors of allying with the demonic path. That is because Immortal Crane Sect had already admitted that I am a part of their sect. It was a meticulous decision. But this is what I needed too. Even if this disciple identity is so fake, it is enough to drive away the other forces. Looking at Jian Yisheng and Feng Juji's letters, one can easily tell how precious this identity is. Fang Yuan thought about it, he did not mind this. The truth is, he is still in the demonic path, he is still alone, doing things his way, no one could restrict him. But at the same time, he could do transactions and exchange for resources he needed. Originally, I wanted to go to Langya Blessed Land and snatch Connecting Heaven Goo. But now that I can deal with Immortal Crane Sect, I do not need to do that. Although, with Who Immortal Blessed Land being in my possession, Immortal Crane Sect would not let this go, they are making deals at this point because of wariness and that they have no choice for now. I cannot be careless and give them a weakness to exploit. Fang Yuan reminded himself. As for his brother Fang Zheng, that was secondary. Killing him would only be for the Blood Skull Gu to raise the Aperture's aptitude by a little. The problem it would bring is making an enemy out of Immortal Crane Sect and putting himself into grave danger. Killing his own brother is a pure demonic act, if outsiders find out, it would be interpreted as Fang Yuan betraying Immortal Crane Sect. At that point, the ten sects and numerous demonic Gu Immortals would place their greedy gazes towards who Immortal Blessed Land. There is no such thing as an absolute secret, once the matter is exposed, even if Immortal Crane Sect wanted to continue acting, they would not be able to. 
Fang Yuan's current situation was, raising aptitude was less important than his other objectives. Even if his aptitude was raised, he still needed resources to cultivate. The most important point now was to stabilize the situation and make full use of the Blessed Land's resources to convert them into his own strength.